Great mockups are always in demand because you always want to present your design the best way possible. So in this video, I'm going to give you some resources about where to get the best mockups for UI UX design. Hey designer, Alex here. Welcome to the channel. And before we get started with today's video, make sure to check out my membership. Link is going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for my YouTube tutorials, and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out. Once again, link is going to be down in the description below. All right, so the first website of the day is deviceshots.com and I'm going to leave all the links to the websites which I'm mentioning down in the description below. So make sure to check them out if you are interested. So as I said, deviceshots.com and how this website works is you upload your image, you set up the devices which they are offering and then you can save it out as either PNG, or JPEG or whatever else. As you can see, choose a template. You can choose whichever template you want, whichever device. You can set up multiple devices or a single device. You can insert a screenshot and then you can customize the design. You can pick a custom background color control the size alignment. So for example, how the device is oriented, uh, color the text, move, resize, rotate objects. So all of those things, and then you can export it and share it either in your presentation or directly with clients. So once again, deviceshots.com, great website, do check it out. Next up, we have mockup photos or mockup.photos. And how this works is you can search for mockups and then you can place your image inside of any mockup that you see right here. It's completely free and you can uh, basically choose any one of these images. You can place your design and then save it out as a JPEG or PNG. You can see 37,000 instant mockups. So they have free, they have t shirts, mugs, phones. So even if you're doing branded design and graphic design, this is a great place to choose your mockups. And you can see some of the images right here. So once again, mockup.photos, I will leave it down in the description below. It's a great resource and it's of course free. Next up, we have the all hands collection or nebi.com forward slash all dash hands. And I will leave it down in the description below. You can see 60 plus photos and PSD mockups featuring hands of all shades, shapes and sizes, which is great if you are for diversity in your design, which I do advocate to be. So basically how this looks like is you have all of these different hands in different shades and colors holding phones. So if you want to present, for example, you see this a lot in Behance presentations, especially at the beginning at the opening stages of the presentation, you have these hands holding phones. So if you're interested in something like that, I'll leave it down in the description below. You can view the collection. And if we click right there, you can see how all of these hands look like. And because they put all of them inside of PSDs, you can, for example, choose these ones which are blank or these ones which show the device being used uh, in real life. For example, all of these, and you can choose any one of these devices and put your designs in. They also have these laptops, as you can see, as well as with the phones. So all hands collection, do check it out. It's a great resource. Next up, we have slant.co. And this is a quite different website than all the previous ones, because you can create your website or app in this sort of perspective. So you can create it to be isometric if you're into that sort of a design. Basically, uh, you're going to use this uh, in your presentations and nowhere else, perhaps on your website, maybe as an opening image or something like that. But it's a great way to catch the user's attention just for them to click and to open your presentation. So you can open the editor, you can set up how these angles look like uh, if you want them to be in this angle on the opposite side. Perhaps you don't want it to be this isometric, so you can set up all of these things. Simply upload your image, you can see them right here, or export it as a JPEG or PNG. Once again, slant.com, do check it out. And finally, we have XD Elements, so Adobe XD Elements.com. It's a great resource if you want to get freebies for Adobe XD. We also have uh, Sketch Elements, we have Figma Elements, and we have Framer Elements. So if you're using any one of these other softwares, make sure to check out those websites directly from here as well. Once again, I will leave the link down in the description below. So what you can write here is you have all of these website templates, for example, mobile templates, app templates. You have these great mockups, so you can check them out if you're interested. Adobe XD design systems, so you can check out all of these design systems, UI kits, you have components and gradients, utilities, so fonts, icons, wireframes, illustrations, and a lot more. This is a fantastic website if you're looking for free resources for Adobe XD and any one of these other platforms as I just mentioned. So if you're interested, do check it out. 
So there you go. Those are the resources for today's video. If you have any other resources, make sure to post them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I upload new videos every single week about Adobe XD, design, passive income techniques and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.